Spartans, one of the most pervasive health problems we face is oxidative stress. What is that? Oxidative stress is a process that eventually leads to cell damage connected to chronic problems like diabetes, heart disease, and aging. What is a solution? It's called glutathione. I'm Dr. Nada. I created the Integrative Health Program at Mass General Hospital, and I'm the founder of Sage Tonic, an innovative and natural treatment toolbox. Welcome to this episode of Spartan Health. Glutathione is not a word that trips off the tongue, but it's very much worth remembering. It's a substance that combats the problems related to oxidative stress. So let's learn more about it. First, let's talk about oxidative stress in a little more detail. This happens when substances called free radicals and oxidants start to grow in number in our bodies. We need some of these radicals because they can act as signaling molecules that trigger important processes like the pumping of your heart during stressful moments. But if you have too many free radicals, this results in an unhealthy imbalance leading to cell damage. Free radicals might be understood as roaming individual atoms of oxygen that are desperately looking to pair up with other atoms. This means that they're pretty indiscriminate about where they pair up. And that can result in a variety of bad outcomes when these outsiders settle down with some random cell in the body. That settling causes damage to individual cells, eventually causing cell membranes to break and altering what a cell normally allows to enter and exit its boundaries. One way to understand glutathione's benefits is that it helps to repair or counteract the breakage or unraveling of cells that free radicals and oxidants tend to cause. For instance, Glutathione repairs the caps, known as telomeres, that are found at the end of chromosomes. And this has really been a hotbed of research. It's an exciting area. So if that cap is broken, the DNA can unravel. And it can be a bad thing for the body, to say the least. And there are many other ways it can keep cells healthy. Everything from fighting nerve damage caused by something like Lyme disease to repairing cell damage that happens during chemotherapy. Its broad usefulness in the repairing of damage caused by free radicals explains why it's also referred to as the master antioxidant. One thing to know about this substance is that it's hard to maintain healthy levels of glutathione through supplementation alone. It's mainly produced in the body. Unfortunately, with aging comes a reduction of the production of glutathione. When people reach 40, they produce about 30% less glutathione. And by age 65, that reduction can reach 50%. You can help whatever levels of glutathione are in your body by what you're eating. Eliminating sugar, grains, and processed foods from your diet is a great way to lessen oxidative stress. And you can find ways to raise the levels of glutathione. Both aerobic training and weight training individually and in combination have been found to increase the body's production of glutathione. And hey, it's what Spartans do all the time. So remember, keep your free radicals under control by reducing oxidants in your diet and by using exercise to keep the amount of glutathione in your body as high as possible. The positive impact on processes that contribute to aging and chronic disease can be really impressive. Thanks for listening to Spartan Health. I'm Dr. Nada, and I'm here every Sunday as part of the Spartan Up podcast family. Spartan Up has new episodes almost every day of the week. We give you tips, information, and tools to help you stay on track. We have interviews with inspiring high achievers every Tuesday with Joe and his team. And other days, we cover topics that help with mindset, athletics, and leadership. At Spartan, we're here for you. We're your partner in resilience training for mind, body, and spirit.